Hello everybody. So today, got an interesting look at a 2016 Lincoln MKS. And it's an interesting look also because I also just so happen to have the key for one. And don't worry, I did not buy a 2016 Lincoln MKS, but I am at a dealership that was nice enough to leave keys inside and leave the car unlocked. So I am thankful for it. I will be putting it back and I will not be taking it for a joyride. But I am lucky enough to be at a place on a Sunday that is closed, got the keys, got the car unlocked. So this is a perfect thing for me because obviously, as you know, I don't have, you know, I don't have dealerships contacting me, you know, come fill our car cars. I, I kind of do it, you know, on a Sunday when they're closed and I enjoy the little bits and pieces that I find. Uh, you know, I got this nice Ford Mustang. Actually got an older Lincoln MKS. So this particular one is locked, although the hood is open. But it would be interesting to kind of to kind of take a look as far as what the older one is, and maybe I will start with this one. But because it's locked, there's only so much stuff I can I can talk about. But then this one is unlocked, and I am holding the key. And the reason why I'm holding the key because I'm afraid some cars actually auto lock inside, so I'm afraid that it will screw up my video if I accidentally lock the car with the keys inside. All right, so let's actually start with this example because I, I have a feeling this is an older model. And the reason why I'm so geeking out over these things is because this is what technically replaced the Lincoln Town Car. So at some point, Lincoln Town Car and these MKSs, they coexisted for I think a couple years because this came out in 2009, if I remember correctly. And Lincoln Town Cars were made until 2011. So this one is locked unfortunately but let me kind of look in the back and you can kind of see the evolution so look at the back so this was probably somebody's car for service because there's a service bay there um so look at the back of this one look at the back of that one so there's a slight change and i'm sorry that orange mustang is right in the middle which which is still a sweet car um yeah so this is i think this is the body style that actually was the original so this is older than that but that one is unlocked okay stop geeking out um so these cars they coexisted with the lincoln town car and ultimately they replaced them as kind of the flagship and i know it can it's pretty sad that this is what replaced the, the, the town car but this was their attempt to kind of be be more modern this one needing a tire and there's something wrong with the hood um but this is what kind of what this is was their idea of a flagship vehicle uh to replace a town car and plenty of limo companies jumped on this i'm not sure how many they actually sold i'm pretty sure they sold these a lot less than they did of a town car but uh, i mean just by looking at it first of all this is exactly what was shared with that new ford uh taurus that was also released right around that same time and i think the same chassis was used for like ford flex and the lincoln mkt if i'm not mistaken i'll have to look it up and you know they went to the to the front wheel drive uh instead of a rear wheel drive i think there was an all-wheel drive as an option the styling i think the styling is pretty forgettable if you if, uh if anything because i know that this is around the time when they went to this whole split grill you got a giant lincoln star right up front so this was the time when they weren't afraid of putting a giant things on uh on their sedans obviously they got rid of the hood ornament which i i don't know why why couldn't they have a little one right up right up here or even have like a little badge like right here i'm not, I'm not sure if i was a designer i would i would totally slip it in there um yeah so obviously they they killed the v6 um i'm sorry they killed the v8 they just stuck with the v6 uh they had some some other styling cues so this is where the star ended up being on the fender there as well uh inside i can i don't know how well you can see it i'll be putting a picture of the 20 um of the the 2009 model right there but you can kind of see it through there this is where they started introducing stuff like cold seats and lincoln's but obviously smaller seats back uh some other technology started making its way this is where they got the rear sunshade this one is if you can see it is like halfway up and then it's stuck you got pretty obvious dual exhaust coming out they had the lincoln star originally in the back with the word lincoln 
but this is also when they started putting naming their cars after some acronyms and this is a good example mks all-wheel drive i mean mk okay i get it for mark but what s sport i mean come on this is not a sport sedan i know this is what they were looking for but not really impressed uh, but they got their fuel their famous ford capless fuel filler so this is kind of what the original design was now fast forward a few years let me walk around and we came to this so this is a 2016 model as you can kind of see the design so they stuck with their split wing waterfall grill right up here once again i don't know i'm not this look is not really growing on me at all but they still have that lincoln star which is kind of much smaller if you if you compare the sizes of that thing look at this thing so look at the key look at the key for comparison it's like half of the key so it's like two of these keys combined look at the uh look at this yeah so this is like a one and a half keys combined once again, not entirely impressed with the styling of this car. This particular one being black on black, I am, this is my favorite color combination. And this is what, you know, limos should be, really. Um, once again, the styling was still shared with the Ford Taurus. Uh, they got the fog lights down there. They got all these sensors, once again, I could never understand. I know I keep mentioning it because it just keeps bothering me. Why can't they hide them? They could hide them in a town car. Why not hide them in, in a more premium, more modern car? There you go. Still got the Fender, Lincoln Star. Still got the wheels right there. Got the famous keypad. Now it was integrated into the door and it was lit up. You guys can see that. This is where the styling in the back started to take a turn for the worse, I think. They started putting a giant Lincoln script and then MKS. But where is the star? I mean, you have so many stars everywhere else. Why not put it in the back? Even put it above the, the word, you know, the letter C right in the middle. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should be a car designer. So what, what else we have? we have? We still have the MKS. This one is obviously not all-wheel drive. It's not advertised. Still got the dual exhaust. Got the wheels. Let's see. Anything interesting on this side? No. No, not really. I think this is kind of the time when, you know, Lincoln cars, you know, you say you had the MKS, you had the MKZ, yeah, MKT. I really hated their styling, their, their, their names. I, I could, this is when I stopped remembering them. But you have this key, you know, this key was the same on the Ford. And by 2009 i want to say mercury was gone so it was just the ford and and the lincoln so this one being a lincoln you have these buttons i love that the remote start came came standard uh then if i push this i'm not going to do it but if i pull this the little key will come out so, so stick in there and you do have the smart key ability so let's look on the inside so first and foremost so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to put the key here so i don't forget it and take it with me so what do you have here you have the door and and it's interesting how they still stick in with the wood so this would be in a 2016 this is their attempt to keep this type of a car classic for that classic buyer so someone like me or someone maybe who used to own or or drove a lincoln town car as a personal car or as a limo driver or as a cabbie whatever all right so you have all auto windows okay good power windows power locks you have that nice strip of wood which is very reminiscent of a town car but the town car had it up here you have the memory seats okay but they upgraded it from the two on a town car to a three black on black with dark wood i love that the leather the leather feels a bit rubbery i don't i mean i don't know if it's real or not i'm pretty sure it is but it is rubbery so I think I almost think like on a town car it's actually nicer. Um, power seat, power one bar. So this is a four-way adjustable. So they got away from putting like a weird switch over there on a town car to putting it, you know, a more legit place. Although, why not put up here? I think this is actually more luxurious. Put the controls like right here, or maybe right there. So I don't know. They decided to go the traditional route. Okay. All right. Good. Battery's still there. So, what, what do you got? Oh, this is nice. They still retain the little strip of wood right here. 
Nice. Okay. So you see, so this is kind of where it started to take a turn for the worse. So instead of putting the wood all the way, making this whole thing a piece of wood, this is like their little, it is extremely hot. And okay. You know what? I'll take this over nothing. You know, fine. You want to take away my wood. Well, no, nobody takes away my wood, but you want to take away the steering wheel woods. Give me this. All right paddle shifters so <laughs> this is around the time when everybody started putting paddle shifters so why not a relatively slow v6 model giant car why not why not put put those on there i mean i wonder how many grandpas use that you have your cruise control i think these things did have optional uh distance uh setting or like the stronic cruise control uh you got the lincoln star there what else you have the bluetooth okay so this is the now you know cell phones are now cannot be held against their ears i love how the town car just has a button that says mute with a phone pictured on there all right so got that so what do you have here so you have fog lights you have automatic lights dimmer switch trunk release we will be looking at that oh you have here you go there you go you're still retaining the adjustable pedals now they kind of moved back here and you have power steering wheel. I wish Town Car had power steering wheel. Yeah, okay, nice, nice. Interesting how this this wood is different color than this wood. And, and no, it's not just because of the lighting, but look, look right there. I mean, look how much lighter it is. So I don't know, is it weird? Why is this wood darker and this one is lighter? They're like here. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, you know what? What if I start this thing? Like, so I got the push button right here. Nice. Engine on. Oh, wow. It's got 138,739 miles. It barely has any gas. But what if I turn on... So this is interesting. I think Ford and Lincoln got a lot of flack for this. So here, max AC. So this is interesting. You have to, like, slide your finger... You know what? The AC compressor doesn't work. Nope. Nope. It is not. All right, I'm going to cook in here. So I'm just going to do that. Yeah, there's no AC in this car. So this is interesting. What if I put climate? Ooh, AC cooled seats. Okay. Really? There you go. So I think this is the era of Fords and Lincolns. Oh no, you know what? It does have AC. My, my bad. It just, it needed a while to kind of kick in. All right, well, all right well, let's try this. Whew. So this is the period of time where Ford and Lincoln was getting a lot of crap for their Ford sync system. So it was that system that they designed with Microsoft. Uh, and yep, there it is. There it is. Where they would where they would design a system with Microsoft for like this multimedia stuff, but they was really laggy. And it's actually, it's interesting because just me pressing this cooled seat button. Yeah, it is laggy and it doesn't always work. See, there we go. So, but you look, this is what they had at the time and I'm not saying it's perfect, but look, it works. Uh, now for 2016, it is, pretty crappy obviously because keep in mind and this is 2016 it's 2020 it's only four years old then it's really dated now it does have all your basics it has the cool seats it has the heated seats um it has i don't think it has heated steering wheel no it does not but maybe that feature came a little later or maybe on a continental what do you have you have your audio settings and but this slider thing yeah i'm not not a big fan of that and then you have the off button, like very strangely located down here, back. I, I don't know about that. But look, it's got the nav. It's got all your basic stuff with the climate. It's have dual, dual climate control. You can now hook up your phone. Town car never had that. You have your nav, much more modern, but probably still already outdated just four years out. You know, and you have your Bluetooth and then a bunch of settings here. So it it got their basics covered. It's got a big speaker. I'm sure you could have spec'd it out. Oh, this is interesting. Look at that. 
I'm sorry I'm jumping, but I just noticed this. This is where you would have a sunroof control, and instead of leaving a blank switch, they put a little Lincoln Star. You see, this is what I'm talking about. Now you're getting into a more luxurious feel. Granted, they could have just made this panel flat, but they stuck that in there. And then you have dual sunglass holders. Now these cars, they did come with an optional sunroof. This one just does not have it. Uh, but it does have, you know, eliminated mirrors. It's got the Lincoln Star. I don't know why I'm so excited about that because that kind of shows that, you know, they put some thought into it. You have, you know, your lights. Okay. Have, you have a CD player. I'm not a big fan of this thing, but look, they want it to be different. You cannot blame them for, for trying. Uh, have a little cubby here. There's really nothing that's in there. Have this little cubby here. Oh, I know this is a button. This is a blank switch for the rear sunshade. So this car did not come with it. That's why it's blank. Uh, cup holders, okay, just standard. Not pretty small in there, but you got two USBs and another power outlet. You have these, you know, this is the crap that I saw in, in, in a Lincoln Navigator, these two little cushions right here. What's up with this? Why did they make them so weird? Oh, but you know what? Here they do come out. But on a, on a Navigator, I couldn't make them to come out, so I don't know if they were just stuck. But still, Town Car had a way better. <sighs> yeah, leather is kind of crappy looking. The glove box, it is huge. I wonder, so here's the book, the books. Oh, here's the security code, that's interesting. All right, you have the books, no, no window sticker, not that I could see at least. So, but you know, I mean, these retailed for 40, 50 grand, so can't call them cheap i think the base model was probably like you know low 40s the visibility uh it's kind of crappy on this side because of this giant pillar so this so i had a 2010 buick lacrosse and yeah the pillars were just as huge on that thing as as they are here really deep they got a speaker in the middle which is great but you could seriously lose somebody in those so yep that's not good the seat is pretty comfortable you know the gauges so let's see what do you have you have the digital tachometer, so this is when they were kind of starting to be fancy, all right? You have compass, and then you can, I'm not going to play too much with it, but I think some of these buttons would be used to manipulate these displays somehow. Don't exactly know how. Oh, there you go, okay. So here, so you got distance to empty, there you go. Interesting. I like how you got the analog stuff in here too. You do have the paddle shift. You can see, so here's the two, here's the one. All right, so no more, by the way, so no more steering column shifter. You got the standard shifter here. All right, let me look in the back. You know, I'm probably gonna shut this thing off. All right, so let's see. And I'm going to open the trunk and the hood. Sorry. Why not? So let's look at the back seat. So this is kind of where, where the magic is. Oh, so I have the, the front seat moved where I would sit. You know, the back seat is kind of comfortable. I mean, I have plenty of room. Yeah, I'm not hurting for space. You have the rear vents. Okay, so this is interesting now. You'll have the power point here. No USBs back here. You know, map pockets, whatever. Right there. Uh, is it a window sticker? Nope. So, yeah, the back seats are not bad, you know? Not bad at all. I don't know if they're town car comfortable, but they are comfortable nonetheless. Little speaker there. Door handles. You know, Fort Taurus had exactly the same door handle. You have the auto switch for the windows. Got, got my nice wood right there. You know, got adjustable headrest. You know, this is comfortable. This is this is just slightly below what a town car seat would be as far as comfort level. The leather, I wish the leather was more higher quality, really. I think for like their flagship, they could have done a little better. Well, nice cup holders, and then they got the storage compartments here. Not bad. I mean, I could see spending a few hours here, but I would rather be in a town car backseat if I had a choice. All right, got the lights. 
And uh, once again, this is probably on the more basic side, but I know you had uh, different options for like a rear sunshade, maybe a couple extra features. So you got the backup camera. Ooh, the trunk is pretty big. So again, I don't know these numbers off the top of my head, but you got a, a nice carpeted floor mat. Full size spare with that funnel again. All right, to, to fill the car when from a gas container. Oh, this is nice. You got a light and a nice leather. No, it's not leather, but it's a nice strap. I love how they stuck to that person jumping out because that's the same as that is in a town car. Uh, once again, I don't know who has bigger trunk, town car or MKS. I'll, I'll look it up, but it's not bad at all, you know. And then let's look at that 3.5 liter up front. Let's see. It's really stuck. All right. Once again, I don't know where to look for the hood release. Please stand by. All right. The little bastard was to the left right there. So, uh, so check this out. You got a nice, very dusty beauty cover. It's got a Lincoln and a star right there. It's a 3.5. I will be posting um, horsepower and all that good stuff on the screen. I don't know these things off the top of my head, but, you know, it's no 4.6. I'm sure it got pretty pretty good gas mileage in, in relationship to the town car. But, you know, look, it's got the basics. It's got this... Uh, reinforcement bar going across for stiffness probably eh, in general i mean it, the powertrain was was fine Ooh, you know what is this a 3.7 probably not a 3.5 you know what i'll have to look it up i'm sorry i didn't mean to disinform you but i just once again i, I i'm not an engine type of person not a transmission um it's just generally not what i'm interested in and i want the car to drive and go and be luxurious and comfortable but in general uh i'm not too interested in the rest um it's interesting how the hood kind of falls down it's got a deep cutouts for those split wings and it does have the hood uh struts so look the bottom line is it's a decent car, but it's by no way a legitimate replacement for a town car. Uh, this is a more modern version, but I'll be honest with you. I'd rather go for a Continental, you know, the current year, the 2020 or somewhere along the lines than this. This is just way too forgettable. And I, I don't like the styling. Inside, you can kind of call it a pseudo luxury, but nah, I'm not too too deeply uh, invested in this thing so this is not a vehicle i would really desire so guess what sticking to a town car for now thank you everybody